Hello, I'm Dr. Mike Cochran with Value Function Analytics, and today we're going to talk about prioritization methods. First of all, we ask the question, why do we prioritize? If everything is top priority, then nothing is a priority. You've probably heard that statement many times, but there's a lot of truth in it. If you have a set of tasks that all need to be done, how do you know which one to do first? You probably uh, should do the one that's most important and or the most urgent, but you've got to have a way to discriminate among all those tasks. So essentially, prioritization should be an exercise in eliciting what is of value to the stakeholders, that is, anyone who has a stake in the outcome of the prioritization. And since time and money are always at a premium, good prioritization will help ensure that high-value items are addressed first. There are lots of reasons to prioritize. We do it all the time informally. Uh, what we'll be talking about in this introduction, we'll be introducing you to a couple of categories of uh, formal prioritization methods using some quantitative approaches. And we'll be talking specifically about ordinal approaches versus ratio approaches, two measurement scales that are used to prioritize. And with ordinal scales, uh, that is a measurement scale that assigns values to objects based on their ranking with respect to one another. For example, you might ask people to rate a product on a five-point scale. Amazon and other online retailers frequently use such surveys to allow customers to rate the items that they sell. So while you know that a rating of 4 on such a scale is better than a 2, there's no implication that a 4 is twice as good as a 2, nor is the movement from, or the improvement rather, from 2 to 4 necessarily the same amount of improvement as, say, the movement from 3 to 5 on, on this kind of a scale. So we know nothing about the length of the interval between each of the levels of the scale. We only know that there are five categories with a 2 being better than a 1, 4 being better than a 3, etc. Because we don't have any information about the interval length on an ordinal scale, we can't compute an average, which is a common mistake in scales of this type. So if you had lots of uh, scores, say that you collected <clears throat> on an ordinal scale 1 to 5, um, and you try to compute an average of those and said, oh, the average is 3.4, you can do that, but it really is not providing you a whole lot of information. In, in those cases, it's probably better to c compute the median, which would be uh, the middle value of an ordered set of, uh, of all those, those elements. Um, but that's the key thing here, is that no arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, division are, are possible. So the bottom line is, if all you're interested in is the order of priority, and you don't really care about how much more important something else is than another, then an ordinal ranking approach works very well. But what if you are concerned about the uh, relative importance in terms of how much more important? Then you need to be using uh, a ratio scale. A ratio scale is a measurement scale in which a certain distance along the scale means the same thing no matter where on the scale you are. And also where zero on that scale uh, represents the absence of the thing being measured. Scales that measure length or distance or mass or weight, these are all ratio scales. Temperature, expressed in degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius, is not a ratio scale. In other words, a temperature of zero on such a scale uh, does not mean no temperature. However, I should point out that um, temperature in degrees Kelvin is a ratio scale because uh, of, uh, zero degrees Kelvin really does mean the absence of, of any temperature at all. Uh, it's, an, it's an absolute scale. So in this case, a weight in kilograms on our little 10 kilogram scale is uh, a weight of 4 kilograms is in fact twice the weight of 2 kilograms. And a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius is not twice uh, 50 degrees Celsius because temperature is not a ratio variable. So the takeaway here for ratio approaches, if you want to know how much more important one ranked element is, then you need a ratio scale method. 
So next time, we'll be talking about ratio prioritization methods. If you have any questions, you can email me at valuefunction at gmail.com.